Hello, my name is John Newstead. I'm a soil scientist here at Delta T Devices. This video is a short presentation on installation techniques for Delta T Devices SM150T soil moisture sensors. You could use these same techniques for the ML3 and for other similar sensors. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we're installing at the correct depth, which I've marked out previously up here. I want to make sure that this sensor is fully inserted into the soil profile. I want these pins fully inserted into undisturbed soil material. It's very important you realise that a reading is taken from here to here, the full length of the pin. Okay, if you only have the sensor buried halfway, so half the pin is exposed, the part that is exposed is measuring air. Air has a very low permittivity and it will pull down your reading. In case you'll get a lower reading than you, would be, than you should be having. So ensure your pin is fully inserted into your soil material. That's the SM150T. So it's very important, once your soil moisture sensor is in your soil profile, that it's secure. You don't want your sensor pulling the pins out of your soil profile because one, you're exposing pin to air and two, the pins will pivot in your soil profile and this is creating air gaps, voids in your soil profile, which will gain, will give you a low reading. So it's very important your sensor is secure in your profile. So today um, I'm going to use an old um, file. I'm just going to scrape out at the depth I want my sensor to be. So now we've made our hole. Hopefully it's going to allow this sensor to recess far enough into uh, the soil profile that it will be secure. That seems to be good. After that, we then need to connect a cable. It's important to realise that I tested these sensors before I actually tried to install them in the soil profile. And once they're all connected up with cables, I will test them again on a data logger and then backfill the pit. Nothing worse, I think, than backfilling and then something isn't correct, connected correctly. Right, yeah. Always make sure that your threads are done up tightly and securely. These are IP68 rated, but they'll only be IP68 if they're done up properly. Okay, so just make sure, done up, nice and secure. Sensor isn't being pulled out, that's great to go. So that's now nice and secure. I've got two other sensors already in this profile. So these are analog sensors. Each one of these extension cables going to a data logger could be up to 100 meters in cable length. Okay, so that's quite a long, decent cable length. I'm obviously going to tie these together um, with some cable ties, neaten them up, and then take them to um, a GP2 data logger. 